When you need to add a new content slide to your Storyline project, what you can do is go up to the Insert tab and then select New Slide. And you'll see quite a few options over here at the far left on this window. And one of them is going to be called Basic Layouts, the second tab. And if you select that, it's going to show you some slide layouts. They're going to be organized by theme. And you'll see any slide layouts that are associated with the slide masters that you're currently using in your project. So in this particular course, you can see I've got a custom theme that I've created, this kind of light green one that's showing up here at the top. And then I also have a few slides in this course that use one of the built-in storyline themes. That's what this gray one is down here. These are all the layouts associated with that theme. So that's why those are showing up down here as well. So from this window, what you can do is select the slide layout that you want to use for your new slides. So I'll go ahead and use this one right here, and then we'll click the Insert button to add it to our course. That's going to insert the slide, and if there are any placeholders on the slide master layout like there are on this one, you, know, you can put your cursor in the placeholder and add whatever content you need. So sometimes people ask, well, well this is fine, but what if I want to add more choices to the list that we saw on that window for the basic layouts? Well, all of the choices there depend on whatever themes or slide masters that you're already using in your course. So for example, if I were to change this new slide here to a different theme, which we can do really easily by coming up to the Design tab, and then I can right click on any of these and choose Apply to Selected Slides, that's going to change the look of this particular slide. But also, if I go back up here to the Insert tab and choose New Slide and then select Basic Layouts, we're going to see that new theme is going to show up here in the dialog now. So now we have some additional choices. So everything that you see here in this window is going to depend on what, whatever you know slide masters or themes that you're already using in your course. And the same thing would happen if I created a new theme of my own rather than using one of Storyline's built-in themes. And we do have a separate tutorial called Using Themes that'll help you walk through the steps of creating your own theme if that's something that you'd like to do. So that's a little bit about using the basic layouts feature in Articulate Storyline.